It's back to messing around with this unit here. I wish it were not so much fun. <laughs> so the warm-up regulator, you know, you look at this thing, like, hey, you know, maybe I can improve upon its performance. People complain about, you know, this and that. And uh, so I got searching on the internet and that was modify the were or the warm-up regulator so it can be adjusted without having to take it apart. And I saw some examples of this, and to me it sounded like a pretty good idea. This pin has to be driven up and down to adjust pressure. And you can see in this one here, see the pin is unmolested. So what you do when you take it apart, you set the pin high, and then when you're running your fuel pressure test, you can tap down on this until you get the correct pressure. The problem is if you tap too far, then you have to take it apart, tap it up. So the idea is if you made this adjustable by tapping it and putting a bolt in it like this, I could actually drive it down and if I happen to drive it too far, I could then tighten the nut and raise it back up. And I thought, man, that's a great idea. <laughs> Wonderful. And look here, I even went to the trouble to put a roll pin in right there so that when you're tightening and loosening this pin, it won't rotate. Because if it rotates, what's going to happen is it's going to twist the heating element, which will make that uh, malfunction. I drilled that, I tapped it, I put the pin in there, took some precision drilling. <laughs> and then we get it on the car, and my sidekick decides, well, let's test this. Now, remember, in the single diaphragm units like you see here, this line down here is to vent. This line here is manifold vacuum. So we're going to apply some manifold vacuum. And watch. Uh-oh. It's not holding vacuum. That means we've got a leak in this housing here because this should be sealed. We put a new gasket in here. Everything else is tight. Why in the world is it not building vacuum? Then we went ahead and put our finger over this area here and watch. you got to be kidding me. Now, I didn't tap all the way through there. I only tapped about two-thirds away down in the pin. So the problem is this little roll pin here is leaking. Normally what should happen is, this is one of the tests you can do, you put the vacuum and pump it up. And if you have a tight seal here and everything is tight, you don't have a leaking diaphragm internally, this should hold a very steady vacuum like you see here. I'm not convinced yet that this is a good idea. Now, when I say not yet, because we haven't done complete testing on this unit on the car yet. And we'll get back to you with a final <laughs> analysis on how I feel about having an adjustable whir. If you recall in a previous video, I talked about relocating this warm-up regulator on the M110 engine because it's impossible to get to down there, impossible to adjust. And we relocated it right here, and already we've had this on and off the bracket three times. It only takes a couple minutes because we are in the final process of setting the pressures on this rebuilt warm-up regulator. In order to adjust this on the car without special equipment, we've got to be able to tap down on the fuel cell right there. And we've also got to tap down on the cold start pressure adjustment pin right back there. Can you imagine trying to tap on those with the original location of the manifold? Not even possible. You know, Mercedes did this on the bench. And during the adjustment process, I learned something else. Remember in the previous video I said I wasn't so sure about having an adjustable pin here on the cold start adjustment. Well, I've changed my mind. We overshot it a couple of times because when you're tapping on this, it's not linear. You'll come down and all of a sudden you'll tap one millimeter and you've gone too far. And it's the same with the adjustment on the bottom here. So having the ability to pull that pin back up, and here's the pin, so... You can see you're driving this pin down, and if you drive it too far, you're going to have to take this apart, and you're going to have to tap right there to tap it back up, and then put it back together, and then tap it back down. Well, with this adjustment, 
you can tap it down and if you go too far you can use a nut and tighten this up and it's like a puller so it pulls it back up so i've decided i am going to do the adjustment on my other words but i won't be able to use that little roll pin we had a heck of a time making those final adjustments because there's a vacuum leak created by the roll pin i have another option i'm going to working on but i am going to do a kit it'll include the proper size drill, now this is really critical to, if you do this. This is very soft metal. So if you don't use a quality tap or if you don't use a correct size drill, you can ruin this. And I don't know where you'd even buy one of these. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. You have to use a high quality drill. You have to use a really good tap. You have to do it straight on. You don't want to go too deep. If you go too deep, you got problems. So in my kit, I'll have instructions on how to do this. And ideally, you want to do it with the halves separated and the heating element out. So if you are tapping it and happen to turn that pin a little bit, it won't make any difference when you reassemble it. So I'll start working on this kit. Any of you who desire to have an adjustable warm-up regulator of your own, I should have this ready by the middle of December 2022.